Boo! Did I scare ya? No? <laughs> At least I tried. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Anniex. As you can see, I changed my look up a little bit because it is that time of year where all the creepy and scary and paranormal thing things happen. It's all around and yeah, it is October. I've always loved October ever since I was a little girl. I've always loved anything that was out of the ordinary, creepy, something you don't usually see. I've always been into the into the horror genre and I've loved Halloween ever since I was a little girl. It's always been my favorite time of the year. It still is and I think it, that isn't going to change. So anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to make three different types of rings. Yep, three, not just one. So let's get started with the video. As usual, we're going to start with some wire. I'm going to take a ring I already have and I'm going to wrap the wire around it so it, I can get the measurements. The wire isn't going to be the exact size of the ring. I would recommend cutting it a little bigger just in case. So also, if you have trouble wrapping it around the ring, if the ring has any holes in it, what I usually do is that I twist the end with a pair of pliers and then just hook it to the ring and that's when I can freely wrap it around and move it with more, more comfortably. So you're going to cut off the excess as this is where you should be working it right now and on one end you're going to close it off so the beads don't fall off. Leave the other end open though because you need a place to put the beads through. So taking some small beads I'm just going to start adding them. You can you can choose any color bead you want. You can choose any type of bead you want. Usually smaller ones work better. Just add continue adding them until you reach almost the end. But don't fully put it with beads because you're not going to be able to hook it to the other part of the ring. So, leaving a little bit of space, you're going to grab your pliers and start twisting the wire as well, just like we did with the other one. But instead of fully folding it on itself, we're going to put the wire through the hole and then we're going to close it. This is how it should be looking for now. This is a close up. And that is it for ring one. Very simple, very easy, and very quick. So, on to the second ring. I'm going to take these beautiful beads that someone gave to me and I'm going to also take an extra long wire. I'm going to put the beads through and close off each end. And you're just going to start twisting and bending it until it fits your finger. This ring is a little longer and it should wrap around your finger twice if not almost twice. This one you can add any charms to it at the at the ends. You can add chains to it like I did with this one or you can even go ahead and leave it plain. Get creative with this one. Now, on to the third and final ring. Taking a leather a leather strand with really nice uh what, what is that called? I forgot the name of it. Uh, it it kind of it it has a design sewn into it. I don't know. If you know what this is called, just comment down below. I would really appreciate it. So we're going to take the leather strand and we're going to fold it into a circle until, until the measurements. I'm making this one a little bigger because it's for my dad. My dad's birthday was a few days ago and I owe him a gift. So cut the letter strand and taking a needle and thread, just take the thread, uh, tie it to the needle and just start sewing. Please be careful with sharp objects. I, <laughs> I probably poked myself with the needle like 10 times. And just start sewing the best as you can. Um, I don't know if I did a good job because <laughs> I don't sew all that often, but hopefully I did. So just knot it at the end and cut off the excess and this is what we should have now. A really, really nice ring. 
So, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. These are all the five rings together. Well, five. <laughs> no, there's actually six rings, and there's three types of rings. So, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please remember to be creative, creative, creativity, create, creativeness uh, is key. Uh, I don't know what I just tried to say. <laughs> well, anyways, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and have a really spooky month of October. Bye! Boo! Did I scare you now? No? <laughs> I'll go home.